Taurus, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name is Jen Dawson. Welcome to Trinity. All right, Taurus. Sorry, I have had the flu all week. The, the real flu. I've been in bed, not been able to get out all week. Not like man flu where I'm like, oh, I've got a cold. I feel no, it was proper flu. So uh, if I'm coughing and, and being gross, I'm sorry. I do apologise now. I excuse my terrible behaviour. Anyway, bear in mind, my loves, these are general readers. It's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. There's also, if you want to join my membership for my Gen TV crew level, um, you can also watch extended videos there, but it's a hell of a lot more expensive than my Patreon. There's other perks, but just giving you options. Right, Taurus. Love reading for you. I'm feeling an emotion, hang on. I can't translate what that is. Oh, it's like, um, duty. Waiting for what you really want. Yeah, let's have a look. This shovel here. Yeah. doesn't oh, bottom of the deck yeah it doesn't look like um there's gonna be any change here so this is an offer of love that totally swept you off your feet um but it wasn't accepted so what's going on right now we've got the ace of wands so this is a new beginning in your life i think what you've been going through looking at the butterfly there is it's been the transformational time in your life you've learned a lot from your decisions and it looks like you're coming out of, if we look at the sun rising in the background there, it's you're coming out of a difficult time and it's a new beginning. I don't know about this offer of love though. <laughs> a decision had to be made. I, I sort of feel like in this connection, somebody's a little bit older and cross watchers are welcome, by the way, just this could be a cross watcher thing. If you're watching for a Taurus, your, uh, your love interest is a Taurus. This is like a, an offer of love for someone who was younger. And it sort of felt like naive. I can't do that. Like, like it's very tempting. You're very lovely. Uh, yeah, I'm totally swept off my feet. But whoa there. Like, hey, you know, I'm too long in the tooth for this jazz. Let's slow the heck down. And it looks like decisions were made that didn't make you happy but you made a choice and as much as it didn't make you happy it sat 
better in your soul that you made the decision. You weren't happy, but you felt like, yep, but I did the right thing. But then there's this... It, it sort of feels like an obstacle in your way to everything, to you moving forward in any aspect in your life, in your work, in your friendships, love, anything. It seems like everything's come to a halt. It's because the energies are blocked. I sort of feel like the, the feeling of this naive offer of love was like, look, I know what road this goes down. I've been here before. This is not going to be good. I, I know that this is... I know what this is. And it's not... Fireworks and fairy tale endings. So you, you made a choice. But because of that choice, you've put obstacles in the way. The energy flow's gone off. Tell me more. Hiatus is the word that's coming in. There's the... Um, Somebody, somebody said to me the other day, and it's coming up for me now, uh, I got a reading the other day, um, I, I posted about it on my Instagram, and she said to me, um, it's like, um, you know, in, in like, submarines, there's like a radar, bloop, bloop, it's like, it's like suddenly the blinking on the radar is gone and they, they, they're no longer there. And it, it's like, it's, it's coming up in this for, for, uh, for this reading. It's like that offer of love that was naive and crazy. And I'm not going down that road. That, that, that was on the radar and, and it was on the radar and it stayed on the radar. And then it stopped being on the radar all of a sudden. And the flow of energy in your life is nothing's working everything's blocked and you're like ah oh, geez tell me more I'm gonna cough I'm sorry guys <coughs> <coughs> excuse me they don't need you anymore And that hurts. They're not on the radar anymore and they don't need you and, and... It was some sort of consolation for the decision that you made while they were there. And now they're not. And that hurts. That's, that's tormenting you. Well, what are you going to do about it, Taurus? Let's have a look. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry, my love. <clears throat> you love this person. This person's special to you. Like, um, whenever I see this card, this is this is a beautiful card to me. This looks like my daughter. It looks exactly like her. And I feel like love and we've got the six of cups here. And this is like a very special feeling that you have with this person. They're very, ooh, there's like a soul connection. And uh, it's not a, it's not a sexy thing like that. It's, it's deeper than that. It's bigger than that. Like, 
this is a this is a love that it's it's like you don't need to validate each other you don't need to be in the same room you don't need to be in the same house or in the same country it, it, it's it's there and it exists and it's beautiful and it's it's about love and the feeling of love over anything lower vibrational of this earth it's it's bigger than that and uh this is why blocks have been put in your life now obstacles are in the way now for everything because the universe is like drawing you to a massive halt and saying this is like You know, uh, let's go Twilight here. Let's go Twilight on this. And you know when, like, uh, the werewolves uh, imprint on somebody? That's what the love is. It's, it's... This person will be what you, you need them to be in their life. And it's it's not about a relationship or sex or or anything like that. If you need a friend, they'll be your friend. If you need a a father or a mother figure in your life, that's what they'll be. If you need a lover, that's what they'll be. If you, you know, if you need someone to talk to, that's what they'll be. And that's, that's what this, this is a soul connection, deep. And uh, this is why obstacles are in your way now. Um, sorry, I had to go Twilight on this, but you know, some some things need explaining Twilight style. So what's coming up in the near future? We've got the Empress. Let's have a look at that. Why is the Empress here? Woo! Where's my cards? Three swords. Why is the Empress here? Sorry, my screen went out and it's kind of lighting me up hang on Bring. look i can't i can't put this on it's it's too crazy look it's like i don't that's, that's, uh, i could turn it down i suppose like like way down oh that's better i've had flu i feel like hell i don't want to illuminate the <laughs> Yeah, I look rough, I know. I coloured my hair really badly as well. <laughs> it's like there's still blonde bits in there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, why is the Empress here? In the near future. I'll, I'll show you. So we've got the Empress. And then the three cards that come here. If I can pick I've cut my nails. You know when you cut your nails, you can't pick your cards up? We've got the Seven of Pentacles. This is about putting the effort in and seeing a reward. Need I say more? The Emperor. I kind of feel like we've got the Empress and the Emperor. Everything I just said there. Everything I just said. <laughs> this person imprinted on you. And there is uh, no other love like it. It's pure. This is a pure love. And this person will be what you need them to be in your life. You don't have to make a choice. And I think that's where you messed up before. You made a choice and you really didn't have to.
I don't think I've seen anything quite like this before. Um, in its purity. Like, the road that I'm seeing moving forwards... best you can hope for is the three of wands in, in reverse. Let's, let's look into that. It's not great. I think that you and this person are going to make the connection that you need to make and that energy will flow in your life again. But I, I feel like this is not an intimate relationship, a sexual relationship. I don't feel like it is at all. It's a relationship where you um, you can confide in this person and they're the greatest love of your life, but there's no future in it, uh, in an in a intimate relationship. You can, yeah, you can, you've put yourself in this prison and you've cut yourself off from your future, your energy, your, your energy flow. You've cut yourself off from it, you know, you can free yourself from that. You can stop fighting this and you can have a new beginning. out the crap you we've got the justice finding balance and again that sword cutting out the crap and justice it, it, it's like what's supposed to happen will them this person's never let you go oh Tell me more about them. This has been a freaking hard road for this person. It's been a very hard road for them. But I feel like they've learned a lot about themselves. It's been a very difficult time for them being cut off from their the person they imprinted on. It's It's hard to live but they've made changes in their life and they're moving forwards with the world. That's a beautiful card. You're their wish fulfillment. They can't let you go, but they're moving forward and they're doing the best that they can with the cards that have been dealt. I'm gonna read the outcome here and then I'm gonna take it into extent where I'm gonna ask about this person for you. How do they really truly feel about you? What are their intentions towards you? What do they want to say to you? And some guidance from the universe. But well, here's the outcome here. The hangman. It's all a waiting game. I don't want to play the waiting game. Drift away, leaving an illusion. I love that song tonight, but definitely could. All right, why is the hangman here for the outcome? I'm gonna cough again, guys. <coughs> it's like you made sacrifices here and that's blocked your energies. That's what the hangman's about. Maybe you just need to stop blocking your energies and just wait and see what's gonna happen. You could see this connection with this person from a different perspective also this is what the hangman is about as well like perspectives you could see it from it you don't have to be in a physical intimate relationship with this person for it to be what it's supposed to be there's a freaking higher purpose for you and this person okay don't fight it the sneeze. <laughs> oh my 
gosh. Um, one more card, please. This is the choices you make. You and this person have a higher purpose. So, you know. Don't be so earthbound in your decisions. Wow. I feel like that was like crazy profound. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know. Don't be so earthbound in your decisions. This is this is bigger than earth. This is this is like a, a soul deep connection. And you guys are imprinted on each other. You, there's nothing you can do. You can fight it, but everything else in your life will halt. What's your song of the day? Oh, well, tonight by Def Leppard. My favorite song, there's still chance for a better life. Speak now, forever hold your peace by Terry Reid or a cheap trick. And finally. Oh, two came out. You're very close to achieving your goal. Hallelujah. A personal issue reaches resolution. We like that. All right. Thanks for joining me, my loves. I will see you in the extended.